Oral Rehabilitation, Wikipedia Article Audio Oral rehabilitation is the process of identifying and diagnosing a hearing loss, providing different types of therapies to clients who are hard of hearing, and implementing different amplification devices to aid the client's hearing abilities. Oral rehab includes specific procedures in which each therapy and amplification device has as its goal the habilitation or rehabilitation of persons to overcome the handicap caused by a hearing impairment or deafness. Oral rehabilitation is frequently used as an integral component in the overall management of individuals with hearing loss and refers to services and procedures for facilitating adequate receptive and expressive communication in individuals with hearing differences. Oral rehabilitation is often an interdisciplinary endeavor involving physicians, audiologists, and speech-language pathologists. Scope of Practice History Audiologists and speech-language pathologists are professionals who typically provide oral rehabilitation components. The audiologist may be responsible for the fitting, dispensing and management of a hearing device, counseling the client about his or her hearing loss, the application of certain processes to enhance communication and the skills training regarding environmental modifications which will facilitate the development of receptive and expressive communication. The speech-language pathologist is typically responsible for evaluating the client's receptive and expressive communication skills and providing the services to anchor improvement. The speech-language pathologist also provides training and treatment for communication strategies, speech perception training, speech and voice production, and comprehension of oral, written, and sign language. In the United States, adult oral rehab started as a result of the number of soldiers who incurred hearing loss in World War II and were in need of services. Back then, Audiologists and speech-language pathologists would put emphasis on speech-reading auditory training, and would fit the soldiers with very primitive hearing aids. In the past, the main components of the rehab process were training clients in lip-reading techniques and listening exercises. Today, the list includes a thorough hearing evaluation, intervention with hearing instruments, and counseling for the client before and after the hearing device is selected. Regardless of treatment method for an infant, toddler, or child, the following problems have to be considered. Adult programs differ from child programs because adults typically have a later onset of significant hearing loss, they have acquired a worldly knowledge, and have experienced normal speech-language development. Consequently, treatment and therapy strategies are much different compared with a child. Treatment strategies for adults center on Types of oral rehabilitation therapies Regardless of whether the oral rehab program is designed for a child or an adult, the members of the hearing care team are the same. The principal members are the audiologist, speech-language pathologist, otologist, and the family physician. Additional members of the hearing care team can include any of the following, educators of the child who is hard of hearing, has mental health counselors, school psychologists, sensory device manufacturers and distributors, social workers, telecommunication and captioning service providers, and vocational counselors. General steps included in the oral rehab of a child. General steps included in an oral rehab program for an adult. Notes Hearing aid and or assistive listening device evaluation and orientation, providing therapy to maintain speech and language, providing therapy to increase listening strategies and speech reading. 
counseling to facilitate adjustment to hearing aid and or assistive listening device and possible psychological, emotional and occupation impacts of hearing loss.